Hello and welcome to The Social Canvas. My name is Carol and today I'm going to do a very, very quick tutorial on a jar um, with some kind of abstract, colourful flowers. It's a very quick painting, so if you're impatient and you want to do something fun and quick, then this is for you. I am using acrylic paints and I have a selection of colours. You can use the colours that you choose, but uh, basically white is always handy, a bit of blue, green, red, um, yeah, a little lilac if you've got some, that, that would be great too. Um, yellow maybe, but on a black background, you can see I've painted this completely black. This is on a very small canvas, so uh, it just stands out a lot better when you can do it on black. Uh, you need a selection of brushes and some paper towel and uh, a pot of water. Let's see. So I'm going to start with some white here. I always put white in the Obviously, it's not going to show up if, unless I put white first of all. So I'm going to start with white and a tiny bit of blue to make a very pale blue um, colour. I'm using a very small round brush like so. And first of all, I'm going to make the um, jar effect. And I'm going to put a little bit more blue in with that. I want it to show up but not be too white. So let me just... Uh, very nice, and you can you can do it off to the side, or you can do it in the middle as I'm doing it. Um, I'm just going to make an oval shape like that. Working around doesn't matter if it joins up or not. As I said, this is a very loose painting. Kind of line it up on that side, maybe make it a bit thicker there. Of course, a jar has got several ridges at the top where you um, screw it. So I'm just making a few lines around there like that. And then as you come down, the jar comes out a bit at the sides, of course, like that. And then down, pretty straight down the sides. If you can do a straight line, it's better to work flat on the uh, table if you can. I'm only doing it this way because it was easier for me to show you, but I will probably likely finish that last part at the end. Not, not unless I lift the canvas up, then I can just slightly bend at the bottom now, don't want it all showing. So, and then um, to get better effects of um, the rest of the jar, I'm going to sort of put a little line there, and this is like the light shining on the jar, and you can put some lines going up and down like that, just to give the effect of the light on the jar, I'll do some on that side, and then do some down here. And then put a little bit more of the darker blue in here as well, little bits and pieces. Put a few different tones in there. And I'm just going to grab a little bit more white for the rim. Like that, and show the rim on that side a little bit. Just highlighting a few bits here and there, and maybe highlighting the outside of that a little bit too. A little bit more white on there with a the light shining on it. A little bit here. I'm not going to put too much on there, but I'm just going to push my brush into the canvas a little bit there. It's very, very simple, this one. Should be. Okay, so there's my jar effect. A little bit more dark blue here and there, just to give it some different tones in blue shape. Okay, so for my um, little stems coming out. As I said, um, 
I'm going to make a green, but you can use a straight green. Whenever I make a green, I'm going to add a little touch of white in with it so you can see it. Uh, otherwise, you might not see it. First of all, a little bit of red in with the green will make it a very dark green, um, which I'm going to aim for to begin with, and then I'm going to come out and add some lighter tones as we're going along. So we'll see how this turns out. That actually looks a little bit grey, doesn't it? So I'm going to put a little bit more blue and green in with that. You know what? I challenge you, if you don't get it right the first time, to try and try again, because that's what I do. I do practice sometimes when I before I do these, but I just want to be able to show you that, you know, don't expect to always get it right first time. If you need to have a few goes at um, achieving what you want to achieve, then so be it. It does not have to work first time. You might be able to see a little bit of that coming through the bottom, but not much because of this, the way the, uh, the jar is. So I'm just going to bring some of them down a little bit so you can see them a little bit coming down like that. Like this. And I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. And as I get a little bit higher, I'm going to add a little bit more white to the ends like that. I'm challenging with a small brush, but you have to just roll it on your on the side on your palette. And then it will show up a lot better. So. Decide how many you want, of course, when you're doing this. I might have a little one that's, that's a little bit lighter, that one. So I'm just going to make it dark as it's coming in. Like so. And then. Uh, and you can have some of these going right off the side as well. So if I can maybe some coming right in here. I'm putting a mixture of greens in now just so you can see that I'm not just doing one tone green because I think it just looks a bit more effective. Just make sure you put a touch of white on with it. So that you can see it. I'm going to a short one here. Just coming out to the side. I just like to make it reasonably equal. And as I said, this is a very quick abstract one, so and sometimes I make it up as I go along. <laughs> sometimes that's that's the joy of <laughs> painting. You can really uh, have some fun with it. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to, you know, this is kind of, I've decided this is going to be a jar of hearts. So I'm going to make a heart shape and it's not a flower, but I'm going to put a flower in here. So I've got some red and some white and I'm going to put, and I'm going to make this a jar of hearts. So as you can see, I've got a little heart there. You can either fill it in or you can leave it. Empty. I'm not going to do too many of these. I just decided I want to do a few. I'm going to actually bring this one up here. Like this. And I'm going to bring that stem up in a minute. I think I'll do three because that's my number of, of um, preference. This one maybe is going to stem up now. On the side it might be challenging. You can move your. Uh, oops, sorry. There we go. So there's my three hearts. I can't decide if I want to fill those in or not, so I'm going to leave it for a minute. I'm going to wash my brush up in between. And then I'm going to just do some flowers. Um, and again, uh, whatever colour you choose um, to suit whatever colour you're trying to match in your house, maybe. I'm going to do a lilac, a very light lilac um, flower. I might do a two-toned lilac, but um, I'm just going to make these very 
simple flowers. As you can see, I'm moving the central part of this flower. Free, because it looks more effective. Not quite like the lilac. Again, I might do three. I haven't done my stem there yet, so I do have to get to that. And of course, this one you can't quite see the, all of it, so I'm just going to sort of go on off the edge like that. And I might make this one more about there. You see, I've got a little bit more like a purple with that, so that's why I said I'm using two tones. Yes, I've covered my background there, so again, a bit of two tone going on. Um, a little bit of dark and purple going on in there with that. More effective. And I think a little bit of um, yellow tone too, so we put some yellow and white together to get a very bright, light lemony colour. Or you can just do daisies, that's another um, option. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to do daisies. So daisies would be just wet, of course. So. I'm going to put a few tones on there as well. I say daisies, there's a sim similar thing to what you see there. But they're quite effective with the flowers. And don't worry about doing any perfectly the same or the same size. You can uh, change that up. Even that little area in the middle it really helps. It's kind of cute and sweet. I like this. That's what I said. Sometimes you just you think about things too much. Uh, things don't work out as well. So <laughs> just don't think about them too much. That's what I say. Just highlighting some of this. Not deleting anything. At the same time, and I'm going to do the rest of my stem there. So I'm going to get my green back again. Come up to there. So I'm going to add another one coming out that side to fill that up. And all those, it doesn't matter where it comes to. And I'm going to highlight some more of that area. I'm going to just get a lighter green. And I'm going to start doing some, I'm going to do that one in a minute, just doing some little um, um, what do you call them? Petals, not petals. Leaves! My goodness, I've got my word for it from it. I get so excited sometimes about what I'm doing, I forget the name of things. That's common. There it goes again. The joys of living next to an old mind. Careful, you don't lean in anything like I just did. I'm going to highlight this as it's coming down a little bit more with that light green. So it shows up, because I said on the back, back, black background you want them to show up nicely. So you go back in and you can go over any that the colours, the trouble is, you don't put white in with the colour, kind of sinks into your background a bit, a bit more. So Okay, I'm going to wash that off and I'm going to just put one more flower here. As I've got three of everything, 
I may just end up with a um, another heart. I don't know. Three hearts. Maybe I'll do another heart. Nope, maybe I'll do another flower, but I'll do it in this colour. See how I can't make my mind up sometimes? Just going to go with the flow. And then if you want to fill in your hearts, of course, go ahead and do that. Which I'm going to fill one in and see if I like it. I do. So I think I'm going to fill all of them in. I'm just going to get more, more red than I have white, just to make sure it um, is quite nice and bright. You can always give these two, cut, two uh, coats if they don't stand out. Right, and I'm going to let that dry and I might put a little bit more red on there. And then I'm going to put some um, yellow in the middle of my flower there, for the, uh, especially for the daisy. Uh, so I'm just going to get a little bit of yellow paint with some white. Again, a nice light yellow to put in the middle there like that. Show sure what that one's doing. I'm going to blob there like that. And actually, I'm going to do the same for my lilac. One and we need one because that kind of looks cute and sweet. Alright, so and as I've got some yellow here, I'm just going to give my some of my. Uh, Some of my um, leaves are a little bit of brightness. If you get them too bright, you turn that one down a little bit. Okay. This is almost it. I'm almost finished. I'm going to do with my little hearts. I'm going to grab some white and I'm just going to make that stand out by putting a little bit of white just around that edge and around that edge coming down. Oh, yeah, I think that looks cute. A little bit more red in there, so that it shows up. That's why I said you sometimes need a few coats because it's a red background. But uh, if you like your subtle, then maybe you leave it as it is. Um, so this one's That's the odd one out, isn't it? Tone, three tone, whatever you want to call it. There you go. That's my little jar. Jar of hearts. I hope you enjoy that. Do I enjoy that? <laughs> if I can speak. Uh, I always put my little signature in the column. So I'm just going to use a little bit of kind of pinky. And there you go. Very quick tutorial for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for joining me. Bye.